Welcome back everybody to another scripture and a smoke. Uh, today right now, today is Wednesday actually. Um, so I'm gonna go and get into it. I've slightly like a limited amount of time today. I mean not extremely limited, but enough I wanna get into it. So today we'll be reading through chapter twenty one. So this is actually the very start of uh, Jesus' passion, we're getting into it. So as always we will begin with a chapter a prayer to the Holy Spirit. And we always begin in the name of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, you instruct the hearts of those who believe in you by the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Alrighty, so, let's read chapter 21 of Matthew. When they drew near Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find an ass tethered and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them here to me. And if anyone should say anything to you, reply, The master has need of them. Then he will send them at once. This happened so that what had been spoken through the prophet might be fulfilled. Say to daughters, I am, behold, the king comes to you, meek and riding on an ash, ass, and on a colt, the fowl of a beast, burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had ordered them. They brought the ass and the colt and laid their cloak over them, and he sat upon them. Large, the very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and strewn them on the road. The crowds preceding him, those falling, kept crying out and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was shaken and asked, Who is this? And the crowds replied, This is Jesus the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Jesus entered the temple area and drove out all the engaged in selling and buying there. He overturned the tables of money changers and he seated and the seats of those who were selling doves. And he said to them, It is written, my house should be the house of prayer, but you are making it a den of thieves. The blind and the lame approached him in the temple area, and he cured them. When the chief priests and the scribes saw the wondrous things he was doing, the children crying out in the temple area, Hosanna to the son of David, they, are, they were indigent and said to him, Why do you hear what they are saying? Jesus said to them, Yes, and have you never read the text? Out of the mouths of infants and nurslings you have brought forth praise. And leaving them, he went out to the city of Bethany, and there he spent the night. When he was going back to the city in the morning, he was hungry. Seeing a fig tree by the road, he went over to it, found nothing on it except leaves. And he said to it, May no fruit ever come from you again. And immediately the fig tree withered. When the disciples saw this, they were amazed and said, how is it that the fig tree withered immediately? But Jesus said to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, if you have faith and do not waver, not only will you do what has been done to the fig tree, but ever if you say to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, it will be done. Whenever you ask, whatever you ask for in prayer with faith, you will receive. When he had come into the temple area, the chief priests and the elders of the people approached him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? <clears throat> Jesus said to them in reply, I shall ask you one question, and if you answer it to me, then I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Where was, G where was John's baptism from? Was it of heavenly or of human origins? They discussed them among themselves and said, If we say of heavenly origins, he will say to us, Then why do you not believe in believe him? But if we say of human oranges, we fear the crowd, for they will regard John as a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. He himself said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. What is your opinion? A man have two, had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not. But afterwards he changed his mind and went. 
The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did the father of his will? They answered, The first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are, in the, are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax, tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. Here another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. When vengeance time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to attain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat, another they killed, and the third they stoned. Again he sent out servants, and more numerous than the first ones, but they treated them in the same way. Finally he sent his son to them, thinking, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, This is their heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to these tenants when he comes? They answered him, He will put those wretched men to a wretched death, and they need his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce of the proper time. Jesus said to them, Do you never read in the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. But the Lord has this done, has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. The ones who falls on this stone will be dashed to pieces, and it will crush anyone whom it falls. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they knew that he was speaking about them. And although they were attempting to arrest him, they feared the crowds, for they regarded him as a prophet. The word of the Lord. I apologize for all the noise. My neighbor's dog is barking a lot, and my neighbor's mowing the lawn, which he'll be done in a little bit, so hopefully. And this is the only time I have to do a review today, really, so. Well, the mower's gone. So today I am doing the Emilio F A F one. So you can see that. Uh, again, my nose clogged. It's starting to clean up a little bit, hopefully, but um, I remember it has a ditch, a rich, deep smell to it. Uh, pretty tight. Has a double cap on it. Very dense pack. And a little kind of score about it here. So this is the Toro Toro. So it's six by fifty. It has uh, Nicaraguan tobacco and the filler and the binder, and the wrapper is a uh, San Andreas Maduro wrapper. All right. So that's what it is. I'll be back here in a minute. I'll get it cut up, and I'll tell you what I think after the first go. So off the get go. Has a decently tight draw on it. I mean, not like super tight, but has some resistance to it. Huge spice kick. Very, very spicy. But I'll get into it. And I'll let you know, guys know what I think in about 10 minutes, and then we'll see from there. So how's it going, everybody? So I'm back. 10 minutes in, not quite an inch. This is a very slow burner. It is a Maduro, so they tend to burn a little slower. Um, it's spicy. There's a hint of sweetness in there, not like really like a white sugar or anything like that, but it, it's sweet. I was going to say a hint of cocoa as well, a little bit. So, anyway, fantastic cigar. And for the price, so this thing is Go Cigar Federation. It is $7.25. Um, I would actually say this is probably a replacement for a Hoya de Nicaragua uh, Antonio. 
It's a little bit cheaper, but it has the same kind of profile. Which hopefully I'll, I, I just won some, um, some Lanceros of those actually off of the Cigar Auctioneer, which is kind of from, uh, Famous Smokes. So I'll be getting those hopefully next week sometime. And I'll be doing a review on those, so I'll see how those are. So anyway, I'll be back here in a little bit, uh, at the, at the end of the first third. Alright, so I'm just finishing up the first third, kind of going into the second third here a little bit. We're about 40 minutes in, so it's pretty, uh, it's a very slow burger, that's what I'm saying. So, the spiciness has kind of gone away. It's there a little bit. I'm getting a little sweetness on my tongue. So, you take a drink here, make sure real quick. Picking up a maybe a light cocoa or a light black coffee flavor to it, along with that sweetness. It's been staying about a medium or high medium so far. The smooth is a little rough, not in a bad way. It's just like you can, it's edgy, you can really feel it. You know, it's not like smooth, but it has a very good sharp mouth feel to it, which I don't mind. Actually, I don't mind really any mouth feel. You know, whether it's smooth or it's, you know, it's toothy or it's rough. Um, just as long as it's not harsh in your mouth, that's all I really care about. But it's going pretty good. But very enjoyable. Very relaxing. I'm very enjoying it. Oh, no, so there's still, even though the spiciness is pretty much gone, I mean, you can get it, like, in the back of your palate a little bit, but it has a slight black pepper flavor to it. Not really the spice, but just the flavor. So, anyway, I'll be back here at the end of the second third, at the beginning of the first third, or the last third, with another update. But so far, fantastic scar. And it's a Maduro, and you can generally get bad, uh, really bad burns with Maduros, but the saying burn fine so which is I mean for one that's construction of the cigar fantastic as with all of them and also you got to make sure you keep your, your humidity right mine I keep around for my like usually high 60s or 70 um, oh and also an update I did get a <clears throat> humidor a while ago I did do a video of it on my phone but for other reason the videos kind of screwed up on my phone I don't understand why I finally got the moisture correct um, because what I did was, you know, I seasoned it and everything, and then I put my humidity device in there right away. I found out that was a bad idea, because the humidity stayed at, like, 80. And I was wondering what was going on. It was kind of gummed down a little bit, but it was staying, like, 78 for, like, a while. So, I am taking my humidity device out, and I let it come below 70. It was at 68 yesterday. And then I checked it when I got home, and it was at 68 still. So I threw my humidity device in there, and I checked a little while, it's at 69. So if it stays that way tomorrow, my cigars are going in there, finally. So that way I actually have a humidor, which I have my Tupperdor, which works, but my humidor looks nicer. So anyway, I'll be back here in a little bit with a uh, another update. Alright, we're coming towards the end of the second third beginning of the last third. Um, we're about 55 minutes in right now, so definitely it's going to be about an hour and 15 smoke, or maybe a little bit more, but anyway, flavors really haven't transitioned that much. Past a uh, few puffs, it's um, the spiciness kicked back up again, which is generally typical of all the Nicaraguan tobaccos I've ever smoked, so, which is not surprising. The sweetness is still there. I'm still getting, like, hints of like a black coffee or espresso I mean to me those are kind of similar flavors but um, maybe a cocoa as well but very enjoyable good smoke uh, production as well definitely full flavored 
Again, it's still about a medium, not super strong, but anyway. I'll be back here to wrap it up here in a little bit, right? All right, everybody, so I'm getting into the last third here. Um, right now, I am at about an hour and 15 minutes, so probably going to get about 10 more minutes out of this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here just like I always do. Um, the spiciness is kind of there. Still get the black pepper flavor. Still that kind of, like, black coffee or espresso. It's not extremely strong. Like, it's not, like, punch, but it's a hint there. Um... Spiciness is kind of coming through here or there. Get it on my tongue a little bit. Still sweetness. Um, off the get go. But it's gone really fast. It's not on it. It doesn't linger at all. Um, starting to pick up some hints of like cedar. It's very light. And it's kind of like a sweet cedar. You can definitely pick up on it. So it's not like a heavy like oak or anything like that. But it's very enjoyable. I went and did some nasal spray just because my nose is like it's been running really bad. I'm sneezing a lot, so allergies are definitely here. Even though I do take an allergy pill for whatever reason, what's out here today? I've been sneezing all day, but luckily my sinuses are trying to clear out because it's warm. Which brings me to a point. I've been doing a lot of my reviews when it's been cold just because I want to be doing reviews. I'm going to stop doing that just because when I do, my nose gets clogged up even more. So, like tomorrow, I'm supposed to drop back down to like the like 50 as a high. I'm like right now, it's like 63, which is perfect. I mean, I put a sweater on. I, I began with a t-shirt, but a little chilly, so I threw that on there. Um, so, but starting next week, it's supposed to be in the 70, like high 70s, so it's going to be perfect. I'm still not going to do as many reviews, just I'm going to kind of pace myself a little bit more. Hopefully, I've only done one cigar review, I mean one pipe review for pipe tobacco, only for a simple fact, is because I have cheap pipes, and they both kind of like crapped out on me. I'm probably going to go get another corn cob just so I like them, and they're good to test with, but I'm actually going to invest in a nice briar pipe, which I was going to get this upcoming month, but I have some money coming, like some extra money I'll be getting in June, so I'm going to go in and invest in a nice briar pipe. Um, when I get that, I'll unbox it and I'll show it to you, and then I'll do some, I'll probably do a little run of uh, pipe tobacco, a little bit, maybe a couple of them. Then probably go back to scars. I'll probably switch out here and there because pipe tobacco is fairly cheap anyway. So whenever I want to try something, I can probably just buy. You know, it's usually ten bucks at the most, and that's like really getting high up there for like a ten of it. <laughs> and the cool thing with uh, pipe tobacco is it lasts quite a long time for you. So anyway, recap on this thing. So this was. The AF1 by Emilio Cigars starts out very spicy, very enjoyable. I kind of wish it stayed that way, but it didn't. But hey, still a great cigar. Burn fantastic. You can generally you generally have trouble with Maduro's burning, but this thing is burning perfectly. I haven't even had a touch up at all. I've even been setting it down because I've been running because I'm I was cooking dinner while my daughter and my wife were gone. They're at soccer practice, so I was sitting it down for five minutes. I picked it right back up. Boom, kept on going. That's very unusual with the Maduro. So, again, absolutely fantastic construction. I, you know, I wouldn't expect anything less from House of Amelia, especially Amelia Cigars. I mean, you guys are, Gary, you're doing something right. Keep it up. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. You know, I'm really hoping that I'm going to grab some more uh, of the other ones that I didn't get with this uh, sample that he gave me. But I'm going to review those things. I'm going to go through and, you know, I'm going to get some Nomads. I'm going to get some... 1502s. I'm gonna get some more of the Epicures. So I mean, and one thing I really, I'm really gonna like to do is I'm gonna try, like I'm gonna do some of the really big name brand cigars, you know, like Olivia and all them. You know, maybe some Padrones whenever I can afford them. But I'm really gonna try to do boutique cigars on here, just for some of, especially the companies that are not very well known, the companies that you can't find at the big stores online, like. You know, they can't find at Cigars International or, you know, any of them. I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do probably 70% of Batik Cigars just to get their names out there. Just because they need help and they usually make fantastic cigars. Because generally they're not uh, big productions, like you see in a lot of them. 
and the I'm not saying that the big companies don't really go for quality, but the little companies really make sure they go for quality so they can sell their cigars because they can't rely on volume alone. So they usually take extra care to make their cigars enjoyable, make sure the construction is fantastic. And, but anyway, um, if you like the flavors are like I discussed in here, so spicy at the beginning, ramps down a little bit, it's about a medium, and then you end up getting hints of spice like here and there <clears throat> with kind of like a cocoa or coffee slash espresso type of flavor with hints of sweetness throughout the entire thing. Ending with kind of like a sweet cedar. Which is there a little bit. It's very much in the background, but the coffee's real starting to pick up. But anyway, if you like those flavors, pick one up. I enjoyed it. I'm definitely probably going to pick some more of these ones up at least, just because they'll be nice to have a few of them around in my humidor for times I like. Oh, and one other really thing. Not all cigars are good with, like, a harder alcohol. And right now, I'm actually drinking right here. You might see my little owl cup here. But this is, um, or glass. But this is actually Canadian Club with Coke. You know, so it has a little bit of a bite to it. That would normally drown out some of, like, lighter cigars. Or, like, not as full-body cigars. But this thing goes perfect with it. Absolutely perfect. I haven't been drinking coffee just because I've been going to bed earlier, so coffee generally gives me a little bit of punch and usually I'm a little awake longer. So anyway. There's just when the ash fell on me. But anyway. Fantastic cigar. Oh, get off. <laughs> a fantastic cigar. It'll last you easily. I'm at an hour and 20 minutes right now, so I'm probably going to put this down a minute. It's starting to get a little warm. But anyway, pick one up. Check out all the other cigars that they have. I only have one more cigar to review that I got from Sample, and that's actually the um, Carnival. Um, so I'll be doing that one. And the reason I didn't do that one today is because that thing is a super long smoke. That thing is over two hours. So and I don't have two hours to review it today. So that'll be the last one I'll review from them. I'll, I'm venturing I'll probably review it. Either Saturday or Sunday, whichever day is warmer, I'll review it. But anyway, and then I'll actually get into the um, Duran cigars that I got. So I'll be doing that. And it is pay week. Yay, pay week. So I'll be getting some more cigars in. So anyway, um, God bless everybody. You know, don't wait on me on my um, cigar reviews to read some scripture. Dive into it. Dive into it. This is the Word of God. It will feed you but as well. If you're Catholic, go to Mass. The thing that feeds us the most is Christ Himself. Body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Eucharist. So, you have Him in Word here. You have Him in flesh and divinity and blood in the Eucharist. Go to Mass. Go to Mass daily if you can. But at least make Sunday and participate in the Mass. I don't want to harp that enough. Be an active participant. It isn't just the priest up there offering. He is offering for us, but we are all participating. So be do your best to participate. Give yourself fully to it. Arrive the Mass early. Don't be a United States Catholic that arrives three minutes before Mass begins. Arrive at least ten minutes before you begin to prepare yourself. But anyway, that's my little rant about that. So anyway, I'm going to say God bless everybody. Hopefully, wherever you're at, it's actually good weather. And it stays that way. Here in Indiana, it's getting there. Not quite perfect yet. But at least we're having a spring instead of, we're jumping, instead of jumping straight from winter to summer, which has happened the past few years. But anyway, again, I'll say God bless. Enjoy your week. This is Tim signing off, which I don't say my name very often. But uh, thank you again for coming to another Holy Smoke. Hey, not Holy Smoke and Ramble. Another Scripture in the Smoke. God bless everybody. And remember, Christ is there for you. Amen.